What's going on ladies and gentlemen, and my name is Nick Bartell with Techno Warriors TV and welcome to the very first review in 4K at 60 frames per second. That's right, this is the world's first video review. This is the video review of Corsair's TM30 Thermal Paste. Now, I originally reviewed this in 4K at 30 FPS, however, a lot of people didn't like the way I approached the review. I left things out like a temperature testing and and some other things. So I said, you know what? Let's go ahead and just delete the review and show you the right way. So as you can see right here, this is the actual thing. It's nothing to write home about. It's really, really nice. Okay, it's standard thermal grease, but Corsair's done it. So it's just really cool. It's non-conductive, okay? It's really nice, so it's zinc oxide thermal paste, okay, which makes it really nice. Ultra low thermal resistance, easy to apply and lasts for years. So it's not going to dry out on you or anything like that, okay. It's not going to dry, crack, it's going to be really nice. So we get a bunch of information up here, okay. And this shows you like the thermal type. A basic thermal paste, 41 degrees Celsius. Now, this was based on an Intel 150 watt thermal test vehicle, TDV. Okay, so they put up a really nice processor. You can show some little things of what it can do. All right, so this is some specifications. Net weight is three grams. Thermal conductivity is 3.8 W slash uh, four slash MK. Thermal resistance is 0.01 C, I, N, W, and viscosity is 2300 K. 2.5 G is the density. Sorry if I'm a little bit shaky, okay? And I had to look at it close because my eyes aren't the best. All right, so this is what it looks like. Okay, looks really, really sharp right here. I'm going to get the camera to focus. Okay, looking really sharp there. And you got a nice little Corsair logo. Looks really fancy. Okay, it's a syringe based. Now, I've got to put some on here, okay? This is what you would do if you if you were to like put it on a very big GPU. You don't need this much. You just need an uncooked size of P. You just an uncooked P. Just a little itty bitty dab to help spread it. But if it's like on something big, like a thread ripper. You might want at least this. Now, I don't know if you're going to yell at me um, on my methods, but if you're going to use a big, fat Threadripper CPU, I'd go ahead and put at least this much on because it's a big heat spreader. Okay. So, that's pretty much it. That's what it looks like, okay? And now what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to open the system I'm actually going to go ahead and install this thermal grease onto our CPU. So after that, I'm going to run, I will show you the temperatures of how the thermal grease did. So I'll be right back. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, as you can see here, um, for our idols, we are getting around, around actually the exact same that we had before. Um, right now, we're currently at 45 degrees Celsius for our load and about 29 to 26 degrees for our idols. You can see all that fun stuff right there. So this thermal paste, okay, especially when you're overclocking, is going to be really, really nice. Now it's going. Now, however, it's not going to be where it is going to be with the with the Noctua's thermal paste or Arctic Silver Fight, but it's a great option. Now, as you can see right here, here's our temperatures and pretty much everything you would need to know. Okay, guys, it's time to tell you what I thought about this stuff. The Corsair TM30 Thermal Grease is a excellent grease, okay? However, there being, this thing is runnier than like water from a faucet. So you want to be really careful with that. The good thing, it's not conductive at all, which is really, really nice, as you can see here. Now, when it comes to runniness, just to show you, I'm probably going to get some thermal grease on my hands. Um, this is what it looks like, okay? When I was moving this down, it got really, really runny. So this is what it looks like 
if it were on a CPU. Okay, would I go get the Corsair TM30 Thermal Paste Thermal Grease? It's a great, excellent option for 8 bucks at Best Buy. Go get it. You can even get it on Corsair's website, which I'll provide in the link below. But excellent job, Corsair. It's, this is really great grease. However, I would improve the runniness of it. So if thermal grease that's really runny doesn't fancy you, don't get this. But other than that, it's a Techno Wars editor's choice. Thank you guys so much for watching this video review in 4K at 60 frames per second. Hit that like button if you like this video. Hit that dislike button if you dislike this video. And have a wonderful day. And pow, right in the kisser.